today we're talking about the overall management of high blood pressure. So a patient comes into your clinic, you check his blood pressure and you, you get a number. So if that number is less than 140 over 90, it's somewhere like 135 over 85, anything like that, that will be will class as normal. We give the patient some lifestyle advice, send them home, we offer to repeat it in three, five years time. If the patient's blood pressure is more than 140 over 90, we will want to offer them home blood pressure monitoring or ambulatory blood pressure monitoring where they would go away uh, for a, a period of time and have lots of readings done and we can take an average. While this is being done to confirm whether the blood pressure is actually more than 140 over 90, we will start some investigations for end organ damage um, just because it could the patient could have high blood pressure so some damage could have been done so we do all the investigations to make sure that um, we pick up any damage that could have been done. At the same time, we do a Q risk score. So some of the parameters like the cholesterol levels, when you do some of the blood tests, you can then input into the Q risk calculator and get a, a, a risk score for what the patient's cardiovascular risk, the, the risk to have a cardiovascular event would be in the next 10 years. So you're doing all of that and the patient comes back and we've got confirmation that the blood pressure is more than 140 over 90. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that would be on the home blood pressure monitoring, ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. monitoring. The um, cutoff points are different, so it's slightly lower, but it confirms stage one hypertension. So if any of the readings come back here, it's... 100% st stage 1 hypertension, basically if it's more than these numbers and less than these numbers on this side. So to manage stage 1 hypertension, what we do is um, we see who we're talking to, who is in front of us. Is this person high risk of having, is, have they got other risk factors? Is there a lot going on? So if they're less than 80 and they have any one of the following or more than one of the following, then we will highly encourage try and get the patient on some antihypertensive medication. So if they've got any target or organ damage from the investigations you did earlier, if they've got a um, history of already existing cardiovascular disease, any already existing renal disease, any diabetes, or if their Q risk score has come back as at more than ten percent, you definitely want to be putting this wanting to be you definitely want to be putting these patients on drug treatment. The next group is over eighties that had a clinic blood pressure of more than one hundred and fifty over ninety, so they haven't met the cutoff for stage two. However, because they're over eighty, um, we want to treat. And so you would highly encourage them to start treatment as well. And then you've got everybody else who doesn't have any extra diseases. Their Q risk score is less than 10%. You can be less aggressive with these patients. Um, and they, because they feel healthy and they feel like there's, they, don't have, they don't really see their GP for anything, they might be reluctant to start medication and they might want to start just changing their lifestyle first. You can work with these patients and um, if they and let them guide the way. So start if they want to take lifestyle measures first, then you can just monitor their blood pressure and always still keep offering the medical management as that is the best way forward. So these are um our stage one hypertensive patients. Next is um, patients who, whose clinic blood pressure has come back as more than 160 over 100. You send them off to have some home or ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. It comes back as still more than 150 over 95. 
these patients, because their blood pressure is so high, it's highly recommended that we just start treatment, no matter what other kind of risk factors or whatever their life, uh, their life looks like. Um, you want to highly encourage them to start medical management. So you, you will be treating. So our most dangerous group of patients are the ones that their blood, where their clinic blood pressure is more than 180 over 120. We don't need to confirm any further. We just take that reading at face value. and We, we don't need to do any home blood pressure monitoring or getting any averages. You want to straight away be looking for any signs of any accelerated hypertension, so signs of papillary edema or retinal hemorrhage. Looking for any life-threatening signs, such as confusion, chest pain, signs of heart failure or an AKI. Or is there any signs of pheochromocytoma, so labile or postural hypotension, headaches with palpitations, pallor, abdominal pain, diaphoresis, that would be a clinical judgment. If there is any of these three things going on, we just admit the patient straight away. We send them to hospital um, for assessment. We, we don't do anything further with them. We just send them straight to the hospital. If we don't have any of those signs, we then we can relax slightly, start the investigations for end organ damage and doing a Q risk just like the rest of the hypertensive patients. We treat these patients straight away and then you want to call them back into clinic in seven days time uh, or send them home with seven day home blood pressure monitoring just to make sure that that blood pressure is coming down. So I will be going through medical management. So what drugs can we give these patients in another video? So just have a look on the playlist and we can go through what NICE recommends and the stepwise approach with the medication.